Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the top things to do once you install Kali Linux. If you did a fresh install or if you downloaded the OVA, the VMware, or the VirtualBox image from the internet, when you first log in, you're going to have default credentials of probably Kali Kali. That is not best practice. Once you log into your Kali machine, you should do some steps after you get your machine booted up and set up. So I want to walk you through some of the steps or some of the things that I do once I have my new Kali box set up so you can walk through and do a few little things to make sure your box is a little more secure and all that stuff. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and jump onto the desktop. And before we do that, go ahead and like, subscribe and share and do all that fun stuff. Hit the bells and you know the deal. All right. So let's go ahead and jump onto the desktop and walk through these steps. All right, guys, so here we are on my desktop. I haven't logged in yet. So you're gonna see my default credentials are Kali Kali. Let's go ahead and log in. All right, let's go ahead and log in and see what's crackalack. -like. All right, so we can X out of all of this. This is probably from a different video. I don't know, I don't care. All right, so let's just go ahead and X out all this because we don't need that. So. The first, first thing we can do, this is what I always do. Whoops, not that. I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger so you can see, make it huge. All right, so let me see what version of, of the OS is, All right? So we are running 2023.1. Uh, I don't know if this is the latest and greatest. Let's go ahead and check. I don't know, to be honest, um, because this is a, I had this machine for a little bit. Let's just go to Kali.org. All right, we can go ahead and download Get Kali and see what the latest and greatest is. Uh, let's go, go down a little bit. So it's, there is a, a newer version. So this is good. This is a good thing. So if you are running 2023.1 or you know prior, we have to make sure this is up to date until to 2023.2. So there is a newest there is a newer version so we'll get this upgraded and all that. This is why these steps are critical. So let's go ahead and clear that. The first thing we need to do is change the password. Because if I have Kali Kali and someone is going to try to log into my machine, I'm sure they can get into it because they have the default credentials. Right? The best practices is never leave your default credentials on any device. If it's a router, or a switch or whatever, anything default because I can go to the, I can go to Google. Put okay, Canon printer, HP printer default credentials is probably whatever HP admin, whatever it is. And if you never changed it, someone can easily get into your system. All right. So let's do P S P uh, P A S S W D. Okay. So now we're going to change the current password for Kali. This is the user for Kali. So I want to put my fancy password. Whoops, I think I messed that up. I fat fingered that. I, hold on, let's do this again. Kali is the current one. My new one is my fancy one. Whoops, I fat fingered that too. Okay, it has been successfully changed, updated, right? So now what we can do is we can change the root password. So if I do who am I? Right now, I'm in as Kali, right? So if I do sudo su, and the Kali password right now is gonna be my new password. I fat fingered that. All right, so that's the new password that I changed, right? So we wanna change this password as well, right? So let's go ahead and exit out of here. I'm gonna come back here. So now what we're gonna do is do sudo pass wd and then root, right? Because this is the root user. So now I wanna put a new password. So Kali and root are two different passwords. And my, this is the way I do it. You can do it however you want, but I'm showing you the process that I do after I install a new copy of Linux or Kali. Okay. 
All right, so both of those are good. So now what we can do is let's get back into root. Okay, so now we can do uh, app get in install, but we can do app get app uh, apt update. So let's just do apt update. This is going to update everything that's in our machine. Uh, obviously, I have you know I installed multiple things. You can see NordVPN and AnyDesk, and there's some other stuff. So we'll give this a moment to do its thing. Once this pulls down all the um, packages that are updated, like you says right here, it built it, it built the dependency tree. It was reading the information, the state information was done. And now there's 710 packages to be upgraded. We installed them, but now we have to upgrade them, right? So in order to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a control L to get back to the top. So now what we can do is upgrade. So APT upgrade. Upgrade dash Y is this ignore the yes. Okay, so now this is going to go do its thing. It's going to go, I don't know how long this is going to take. This can take, this can take five minutes. It all depends on your internet speed or it can take God knows how long, right? So we'll let this do its thing. Once we get back, we should be upgraded and we'll check the upgrade process. So let's give this a few moments and uh, let's resume once it's finished. All right, guys. So that took what about 15 minutes or so to, to complete the full upgrade. So what we can do now, this is pretty much what we can check now is that cat Etsy OS release. And now we are on 23, uh, 2023.2. So now we are fully up to date. And if you, you know, another good one to get, there's a whole bunch of tools to get. Um, I think one that's good is Git. So make sure you have, uh, let, me, let me just put Git dash H for help. I guess it did the same thing. So let me make this a little smaller. I don't know, just too big for me. But what you can see here, like say for example, if you want to pull down repositories. So let's go ahead and do one and I'll show you what I mean. So if we go out to the internet and let's just go to, Google and put GitHub um, Kali Linux tools. I'm just going to go to or whatever tool you want to get, right? So say, for example, ADB Toolkit, right? I have no idea what this is. Let's see what this is. Um, Android phone, blah, blah, blah. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get I think uh, it's called Black Eye. I think it's Black Eye, something like that, GitHub. It's like for phishing and stuff like that. I've used this in the past. Um, uh, did I get hacked? This is cool. You start, whatever, fun. So let's go ahead. Let's just hit red eye 2.0. And we can come down and we can see that it's, you know, a, a application. I just want to get to the, here we go. Clone this, right? So you, we can get this, clone it, then we can download this repository from GitHub. So this is definitely a good tool to have. Uh, I guess we can do one, right? We can actually, uh, let's just go to, I just want to find something that's actually useful. Uh, this is Windows. All right. Give me a minute. Let's think of a tool. Is it Black? Is it Black? Remember the name of this tool. Yeah, I think this is it. All right. So let's just do this. All right. So you can get clone. Let's just go ahead and clone this. Right. Let's come back here. And I want to do, I want to make a directory, mkdir tools, right? cd to tools. There's nothing in here, right? So now let's go ahead and, so I'm going to get, do get, what, what is it actually for a user? I don't have a username. Maybe because you need to be a user on here. I don't think I have a username in here. 
Um, not on this machine. I don't have, and I'm not going to put my, I do have a GitHub, but I'm not going to put my info in there. But anyhow, like you guys get the gist. I'm just going to, I don't want to blab on. So just do get clone, get clone. And then the, whatever the uh, URL is for the repository. And then you can just go ahead and pull it down from, from uh, GitHub. All right. So that pretty much concludes this video. Sorry for that little, you know, rant. I, I just thought I should show you how to use it, but it's pretty easy to get clone and then the URL and it pulls the repository down from GitHub. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's pretty much the top things that I would get. Obviously, there's other tools that you can utilize, you can download, install, but those are like the first things I do. Make sure all my drivers are up to date. Make sure my, my operating system is up to date. Make sure everything is patched, updated. Change my password. So let's just go ahead and just exit here. Exit. And exit here. Okay. And let's go ahead and log out. Log out. 